All right, guys, what is up? Today's kind of a fun day. We're gonna be installing this sand point here into that casing. And so we're gonna have to use some Teflon tape, some pipe wrenches, a rope, lower this in there, kind of pound these 24 feet of pipe here. We're gonna have to pound that into the earth, into the casing, sorry. Greenhouse is pretty warm. It's like, it's hot. It's warm in here. Things around the homestead are looking pretty good, guys. I hope everything's warming up where you guys are. It's like, it's just at zero today. So it's still a little chilly outside, but Let's kind of go out and take a look. Hey, Cash. Hey, Gracie. Hey, my own cat. Hey, no name. Chickens are out. Things are starting to thaw out. <clears throat> Have a lot of work coming up here. Hey, girls. <laughs> Just gotta run into this vehicle here. Okay, all right. Just had to grab some supplies. Just what are you using those supplies for? I was in town today doing a bit of work, and these spikes and chain—they are for the spikes and chain are for they're for my mole traps. Okay. So you gotta I'll see these are my new ones here. You have to attach the chain onto these guys and then drive this spike in. Because if not, sometimes a coyotes or a cash come and dig up the traps and you know what, 20 bucks a pop, they're kind of expensive, so you kind of want to have them secured to the ground. But, okay, I'm gonna get some rope here and let's dive into this sand point. See if we can get it figured out and put down the hole. I've never done this job before, installing a sand point, but I think they're, I think they're kind of basic. Like I say, in total, there's 24 feet of pipe, a sand point, a couple couplers. The price for this whole sand point job without a pump, the sand point was 100 bucks. The piping and the fittings were 300. The casing was pretty well free. I had to buy the extensions for the post hole auger, manual post hole auger. But <clears throat> overall, I know what it looks like down here. Got to take this out of here. Got to put this insulation along these walls here. Haven't done that yet. And just give this a whole general cleaning finish installing these tubes into the earth. Oh, so much work here, guys. I just a lot but we're gonna hammer through it and get this job done so all right we'll get this set up and start working all right so what we're gonna do is kind of pre-assemble the couplers the sand point and the piping so we can just kind of have it all ready before it all goes in the hole. I'm gonna have to probably take this, this piece off because we gotta be able to stick these eight foot pieces of galvanized pipe down the hole and then tighten them with these wrenches, these monkey wrenches or pipe wrenches. 
So let's get out of here. Let's just see what happens. All right. Okay. All right. We're just installing, putting some of this Teflon tape on this joint. It's very important that these joints seal up very tight. You cannot have any air getting in when you're sucking with your jet pump down. It has to be airtight or you'll lose your prime and you'll have to kind of go through the whole system and find out where it's drawing air from. Man. want a bite. You have to be sure to put Teflon tape on all your joints, guys. Very important to use galvanized pipe and not carbon like black pipe the galvanized won't rust out as bad as a black pipe so <clears throat> i would suggest if you were going to put a sandpoint in put it in with galvanized pipe you don't want a bunch of rusting in your drinkable water. All right. So we got the sand point put on the first length of pipe. So that's sweet. We're gonna get another coupler put on a length of pipe and then we're gonna lower this in there. So That's actually quite warm. It's hot. So, we got it. Whew, that's hot. Okay. Guess we'll, I think we're gonna have to take this collar off here. Take out some of these, take that off, and we're gonna start putting that pipe down. So that should be pretty exciting. So I hadn't touched this well casing since I installed it uh, 
last summer. Take a look down there. You can hear it. So there's still water in there, which is good. We're gonna take a measurement and actually see how much, see how many, see how many feet of water are in that case thing. Not like it really matters, but I'm just kind of curious myself. Use this tape measure. So you can see it's wet, very wet. Let's see if we can see the water line on here. Still wet. 43 inches. So that's not bad. Almost four feet of water in that casing. So we're gonna put this down in there and see what happens here, guys. just don't want to bite these things. Ah. 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 Oh. Ah. Okay. All right, so I kind of waited a little bit because it was so hot in the greenhouse. Uh, it's kind of back down to a little bit more cooler temperatures to work in. So we had been pounding those uh, that sand point in, the wood kind of broke all apart and I was pounding on that fitting, sure enough, Kind of bung the threads on it, so just scooted to town. Well, about a 20 minute drive to town, picked up some new fittings, and uh, we're gonna tighten those in and get this ready.
you tighten it from the top like this, all the fittings tighten as you work your way down, which is nice. Turn this 90 over to the wall. Sweet. Whew. All right, those are all tightened up, guys. This nipple, we're gonna put our one inch water line. We're gonna go through the wall. We're gonna go through the wall over here with the one inch water line. Probably tomorrow or the next day, I'll run the water line. I'll do another video. We'll fill it full of water and uh, see if it works, see how much we can draw out. A shallow well, good for 25 feet. We're four feet into the earth, plus 16 feet down, and I think that sand point was 30 inches or 36 inches, so we're well into the water column. We'll just see, we can always add this extra piece down. If say the water table goes down, you can always keep this as extra. It's always a good idea. Or if you wanted to put in a second sand point for animals or whatever, right? It's good to have another piece. All right guys, so I think that concludes the video. The sand points in. We're gonna run the water line. We're gonna run the water line another day and fill it up and see how much we can, see how much water, if we got good water coming from inside the house here, inside the greenhouse. Anyways, I hope everybody's staying good and staying healthy. Till the next one, peace out. <laughs>